Well, hi, hello, Stampers. Welcome back to my studio. This is Deb Valder. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness, and today I'm so excited. I'm going to show you a mini series on one little die set to show you all of these cards right here. Each and every one of them has different techniques in there, so I wanted to do them in little mini series so that if you wanted to ever go back and just look at one, you could do that um, without having to sit through all of them. All right, so the die set that I'm going to be using is this little guy right here. All right, um, it's called Floral squares and it, it's just so very versatile you get all of these dies in the set and they're in our shop so make sure you click on the little eye above that'll get you right to the shop and you could start shopping away all right so let's get started with our series for this card right here we're going to use some of our distress oxide inks and um, I matched it up with some of our prills and we're going to use our little blending brushes and it's that easy. So let's just grab some of the stuff that we've done uh, that I've already pre-done for us. I cut out three of the little daisies right here okay and um, the rest of it is just on this little piece right here which is uh, five and five and a quarter by four and um, let's get started. So this is going to be using this little guy right here. All right, so let's start with our Distressed Oxide inks. Okay, let's start with, let's put the card back in here. All right, and we're going to start with, up in the corner, we're going to start with our little um, squeezed lemon. All of these are in the shop, so make sure you hop on over there and um, check all of those out. What I'm going to do is I have one for all my yellows, I have one for all my reds, I have one for all my blues, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And then I just wash them out at the end and they're good to go for the next time. So all I'm going to do is just kind of burnish some of this color right in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not rocket science. I kind of lay this on here to see if I've covered enough of it. And I think I have. All right. Just a little tiny bit more. And then I just kind of feather it out. So strong in the middle, feather it out. All right, so that's our squeezed lemon. And remember, in the shop, all of these are in, and the prills also. If you click on the um, mega picture, and um, underneath, over on the right-hand side, if you scroll down to just before you add your cart thing, right above it is a drop-down menu. So when you get into that drop-down menu, you can pick which colors that you want. I think all three of these are in, because we have two separate ones for the beginning of the alphabet for the Distressed Oxide and um, the second half of it. All three of these are in the, um, I think it's L through Z. Um, so just check that out, all right? Check and see whichever ones you want. Speckled Egg is brand new, so that one is all by itself, um, but just check out Speckled Egg. That is the blue one, but we're gonna go to Tattered Rose next, all right? So we're gonna take our, I, I use this, my red brush for this one, but, but remember, I always clean them out afterwards, so it's still in that, that little family right there. And we do have the re-inkers for all of these little guys too, so. I'm just burnishing and then feathering out at the end. All right, just a little bit. Let's see if we've covered enough here by just adding this little guy right here like this. I think we did, okay. And then we're gonna go to how pretty this color is, tattered rose, all right. And let's go next to speckled egg and grab our blue brush and just burnish it right in. And burnishing just means you're gonna just keep, um, just, just keep rubbing it until it just is so soft. All right, and then just feather it out. And let's see if we've got enough for that one. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to go a little bit fatter for this one. Okay, there we go. All right, now we have all of our... This is how fast this card is, guys. It takes a little drying time, but that's it. All right, so now we need to put these guys on there. So I'm going to do that one at a time. Turn it upside down. I'm going to grab the best um, glue on the market. It is our deluxe glue. It's in the shop. Now for the flower, I'm just going to take and put a little bit here in the center, a little bit on the stems because I want these to be freestanding, all right? And then just dab all the way around. There we 
you go. All right, and then we'll just lay this on the top here. And our yellow one is done. Okay, I'm just lining it up side to, or at the top and the side right here. Okay, and then the next one I'm gonna do is this little guy right down here. So add a little bit of glue to the middle. Add a little bit of glue to the stems. And then just very lightly, I'm not even squeezing this glue. Okay. And put that right down here at the bottom. Lining up the bottom and the side. And laying down that little guy right there. Okay? Now we're going to do the same. Okay, and then for this one, we're going to add it right here. Just like that. So far, so good. Okay, now the next thing that we have to do is add our prills. Told you this is how fast this card is. So awesome. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to my base card. And I did pop that. And I am going to use um, just some of our foam squares. And I'm going to use the fat ones. All right. that to our card okay and then it is prill time so let's get out our prills and you can get out any container that you want okay and let's start with our this one is so to match the um, squeezed lemon, I'm going to use our lemon chiffon. So if you're trying to match these in the shop, okay, pull down menus, remember for both of these, if you're trying to match these, I have lemon chiffon um, paired with squeezed lemon. And all I'm going to do is add my crystal glaze, okay, to this, add Those little guys right there. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> I just love it. And then you can kind of, if you want them to be a little bit fatter, you just kind of take and poke it up like that. Okay, so that's our first one. Throw these back in here. Like I said, any container will work. Okay, so that's our lemon or squeezed lemon and our lemon chiffon. And then we're going to go on to a fuzzy navel, which is one of my favorites. And that I paired up with the tattered rose. Okay, so let's put this back in here. Add some of our crystal glaze. Add some of our fuzzy navel. All 
Isn't that cute? Fast card. Very, very fast card. All right. Let's just push this up a little bit. <laughs> Not cute. I just love it. Okay, and then we're going to add these back to There's nothing like prills. They're just the best, best, best ever. All right, so Tattered Rose and Fuzzy Navel go hand in hand. And then we have Speckled Egg, brand new in the shop. Um, that one, I think all you have to do is, is uh, look for that one. I'm not sure if that's in the drop-down menu yet, um, but it is on the site. So just uh, do it in the search and you'll get that one. And I paired that with the Sage Advice. All right, so let's just grab this and this. Some Crystal Glaze. And you could add a little saying on the top or the bottom over here. Or both. But sometimes just having, oops, got a little bit off over here. Um, just having a, a plain card like this, sometimes that's just even more perfect. All right, and then we're just going to add these little guys right here. There you go. Isn't that the cutest ever? Isn't that just the cutest ever? Let's get these back in here. There's no waste. All right, so there's that and that and we are done with this card. Isn't that adorable? So you watch the first or whatever order you're doing these in of uh, this little mini series. Make sure you watch all of them because each and every one of them have um, just some really cute little tips. And like I said, this is just such a cute card. And that is the first one here. We're going to um, learn how to do that one. So make sure you see that video. We're going to do that one. So make sure you see that video, that video. And then this one actually uses two of the... Um, of the little dies, that's why there's only five videos instead of six, but there are six uh, little um, dies that are in this set. All right, so stay tuned, take care, have a great day, and thank you for stopping by.